Dear students, this lecture is about the first type of the functions, which is known as constant functions. Let's get started. This is the type of the functions in which the power of the independent variable is at maximum zero. And that is the reason we cannot see the variable on the right hand side. For example, as you can see, we have taken an example where y is a function of x and x is having the power 0, which means that the whole value of x will turn to 1 and as, as a result, we get a constant, which is in this case a symbolic constant. But it's not necessary that we'll be having a symbolic constant. It might be numeric as well. So this is called as a constant function. When we draw the plot of such a function, we get a horizontal line. Let us see in the diagram how it looks like. Now, the example is now very specific because we have assumed the value of a which is now 2. And once we do that, the function reduces to this, that is y is equal to 2 or y is a function of x is equal to 2. Once we draw this, we see that uh, this is the value of y, which is 2 in this case, as shown by this ordered pair. The value of y is 2 and the value of x is 0. And no matter the value of x, the value of y will remain 2. No matter on the left hand side of the origin or on the right hand side of the origin. You can see the line is the same. It is actually parallel to x-axis and it is on the same distance from the x-axis. This is how the graph of a constant function looks like. Now we are going to take some examples from economic theory. A very famous constant function in economics is known as autonomous consumption. We are well familiar with this concept. The component of the consumption which is independent of the level of income. As we have uh, represented this in uh, its definition in a very uh, lucid manner, con consumption at yd is equal to zero, where yd is the disposable income, that is the income after taxation. And this is the beauty of mathematics that you can see that this uh, function is explaining the whole story. That autonomous consumption is not a function of the disposable income. A very small function can explain the whole phenomenon. This is why the tools of mathematics allow us to do things in economics in a concise manner. Now I have uh, plotted the diagram as you can see on uh, x-axis there is yd and on y-axis there is the dependent variable which is c. This is that part which is dependent upon the consumption as we have studied in the Keynes law of consumption. However, there is a part which is known as autonomous consumption that we just talked about and it is not a function of yd. That is the reason that it is not having any difference whatsoever and whatever will be the value of yd. This is how the autonomous consumption falls in the category of constant functions. Let's take another example. Autonomous investment is yet another example of the constant functions. Let's get straight to the definition. It's the investment where there is no income or it is that investment which is independent of the level of national income. The diagram is self-evident. We have taken national income on x-axis and the dependent variable that is the autonomous investment on y-axis. And you can see its value is fixed at 10. And regardless of the changes in the level of national income, it remains the same. It remains at the same level that is 10. However, it is not going to get stuck at this level. It can increase, but definitely it's not going to increase due to any changes in national income. There can be other factors, any encouraging factor that might push the investors to invest more can have this increase in the investment. It may be 
better socio-political conditions. However, that is not the topic of concern. What we are trying to see is that constant function can get shifted to a higher level or to a lower level depending upon the stimuli that is bringing the change in it. So you see, when it gets shifted to another level, that is I2, where the investment is 15 units, it is again independent of the level of national income. No matter the national income, its level is 15 and it's independent of the level of national income. So this is yet another example of constant function in economics. Now let's take another example, which is of government spending. Now let's get straight to the diagram. You can see it is quite similar to the previous example that we are observing a shift in this parallel line to x axis. Now this can be due to the political will because the decisions of government spending are based upon the decisions that are made by the policy makers and it is not mostly dependent upon the national income. It is the political will that decides if they are to spend more on masses or not. So this is another example of constant functions. Uh, another similar example coming out of fiscal policy is the autonomous taxation and any type of lump sum te taxes are the example of autonomous taxation. And in functional form, we can write in this way. And the diagram again is showing the same behavior. The example from the money market would be of money supply because Mostly it is a stable variable, if not constant, and especially in the short run. And when this happens, we can expect that it is going to be constant because it is controlled by central monetary authorities like State Bank of Pakistan and Federal Reserve. And it is likely to be independent of the level of interest rate. Instead of MS, we can write M0 to show the autonomous behavior of money supply. The diagram is there and it shows that supply of money has increased in the first case and it is independent of the changes in interest and in the second case the supply is decreasing due to the non-interest factors and it is independent of any changes in the interest rate. So this is how we can observe the changes in the constant functions in case of money market.